I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. My name's Eric Murr. I've been a member of this church for over a year now. I uh, became a Christian about four years ago. How I broke this commandment, uh, my whole life pretty much, I was living for myself. Um, I was my own God. It really wasn't until I became a Christian did I realize how much I broke that commandment. Um, growing up, um, I knew of Jesus and about him, but I was kind of like off to the sidelines. I always thought that like, hey, you know, um, as long as I believe in him, I'll be okay. But pretty much my whole life I was living for myself. Wanting to be accepted by others, uh, that was very, very important to me. To be perceived by others as something that they wanted to accept. You know, to get everything the secular world has to offer. So whether that be money, um, a good job, um, putting off like I'm this good person, doing good deeds for others, but it was simply all for myself. It really wasn't for God at all. I'd say that the when you're living for yourself, you're pretty much carrying the weight of the world on your own shoulders. Um, nobody else to, to reach out to, to look for help, not even family members. It's just you basically against the world. I can remember there was a time in my life, like early 20s, things were actually going well. Job was going good, just bought a house, bought a brand new car. Um, to the secular world, like family and friends, everything looked perfect. And I can remember these little spotty convictions that God was kind of giving me. It wasn't a loud thunder or bolt of lightning or anything like that, but he's like, you know, I'm glad that you have all these things, but I want all of you. And it's not like I didn't know what that meant. Um, I just knew that it meant that I was gonna have to give my all to him, to lay down my life. Uh, to me personally, I thought that I was going to have to, you know, give up the things of the world, whether it be like, you know, happy hours or um, just certain things, you know, not swearing or like I was going to have to just go to church and just abide and, and make him happy. What I didn't realize in that moment, when I did give myself to him, everything kind of flipped um, where I kind of yearned to follow after him. It wasn't overnight that I gave myself to the Lord. It was more like a, a progression. Uh, the more that I followed Him, the more that I got to know Him, it was kind of like these burdens kind of went away slowly. The more He kind of showed me truth and the more that He made me aware of all the things that I was doing wrong in life, that all those things really didn't matter at all. Um, that He was the only thing that mattered to me. He was the best thing that He could offer to me. It was a huge burden taken away because all that other stuff that I was carrying with me to be perceived by others, uh, my job, everything, all my relationships, making sure they're in good order. Um, basically, he just shelved all of that, took it off my back, and I knew I was living for him at that point, which was a huge, huge relief for me because I was no longer living for myself. I was living for him, and I knew that I was his now, that he was gonna carry me through everything, even though everything wasn't gonna be easy. Right now, he shows that to me every day, uh, which just shows me all the grace and, and the love that he has towards me. So I joined this church over like a year ago. Uh, I would say I became a Christian four years ago or gave myself to the Lord. For the first three years, I was actually uh, reading the Bible myself, trying to teach myself. I didn't realize until I came here, until I joined the Bible study and the small groups and stuff like that, um, how important or imperative having a strong community is. Um, when you realize what you are in Christ, you don't quite know how to walk with Christ or even know essentially what that means. Even trying to learn about Him, sometimes you can get caught up on, oh, I want to come off as theological or know this and that, but they kind of make you aware, like, where's your heart in that? Are you really trying to search for who He is or is that something you just want to come off for yourself? Again, trying to be your own God. How is this commandment working for me now? Uh, it's everything. Uh, it gives me purpose. I'm no longer wandering around, figuring out what my purpose on this world is, trying to please others, or even just trying to please myself. Um, I have direction. I'm comfortable in who I am with Him, um, following Him, um, just taking day by day with Him. And the more you follow Him, the more truth comes out, the more 
or a better understanding of the world that I have. It just makes you more joyful and more happy. Um, even when tough times come, and they do, um, you know, I just try to quickly hide in his shadow and I know that everything's gonna be all right and there's a lesson to be learned by this. Before something didn't go right, you know, what did I do, what did I screw up? Now I take these trials and tribulations with grace because I know he's actually trying to teach me something in that, so it's really remarkable. I know that my purpose now is to know Jesus and to follow him um, and to share my testimony with others and the grace and the love that he showed me. I can't wait to share that with others and hopefully have him change their life as well. If he can change my life, he can certainly change their lives.